then, <laughs> wow, that was very fast. All right, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Thunder and Lightning Gaming. I'm Thunder. And I'm Lightning. And this is Return of the Obra Dinn. Um, so, a little backstory before we start. As you can see, this game was created by one dude. His name is Lucas Pope. Um, he made a game called Papers, Please, which... Oh, there's music. Hello. He made a game called Papers, Please, which is one of my favorite games of all time. It is a game where you play a border control officer stationed in between two fictional Russian countries. Uh, and as boring as that sounds, it's so fun. Uh, it's a very intricately woven story that is told uh, pretty uniquely. And he made that, and he was like, Papers, please, mic drop. I'm going to go into a hole for six years and make this game. And then he did. And uh, this game is really good. I've played it before. I've never beaten it. We'll probably not beat it, but uh, we'll get into that. We'll try. Um, but basically the story is this ship, the Oberdin, was lost at sea. And all of a Does sudden... Does that say... Boost and oh, 800 tons. Sorry, and all of a sudden, one day it just came back into shore, and there was nobody aboard. So, we're playing someone from the 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 you were playing chief inspector of insurance claims or whatever. Uh, the Oberdin has returned to Spash the Fall Moon immediately and prepare for a full assessment. And we're going to um try and figure out what happened on this ship and why it all of a sudden. Uh, came back Thank into shore, but the ready. real main appeal of this game uh, is the art style, because the art style is absolutely exceptional, um, and as soon as you see what I'm talking about, you will know exactly why it took him so long to make this game. I'm excited. You've been talking about this game for a long time. Yeah, I was really excited about it, um, basically up until the day it was uh, it was released. And uh, I I was not I was not disappointed when I whoops no 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 I oh no that's right you have to go up and then he calls you back down so yeah this is the game uh it looks like this uh, yeah. which is crazy um we're missing a thing but we're supposed to go up here and then he's gonna call and be like get your thing there's a skeleton over here jeez there's uh. So this game doesn't really have Oh my god, look at that though. <laughs> so cool. This game doesn't really have an ending. It has a storyline that we're going to discover and I think we're going to stop this let's play once we get to the end of that storyline. Um but I mean it seems like a murder mystery game. I'm surprised there isn't a conclusive ending. Or not a murder mystery game, but a mystery game. Yeah, it's there's there's not a I guess what I meant is like there's not a conclusive ending as far as like gameplay goes. Like all of a sudden it's just gonna be like oh we're done okay, you okay. Know? But um, this part's kind of funny. Just do it. <laughs> Take it yourself and open it here. I will do the second one, and I will take my my book and put the book away, please. Stop looking at the book, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, just kidding. We're going to look at the book more. Um, so, oh. Oh, fuck. I trusted you now find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Reg regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline th that follows. Your presence on the Obra Dinn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will see will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of every button everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within but have elected to keep that private for, for now. So, we've got a little map of the boat. We've got the... Some of this stuff doesn't matter. Uh, these are pictures I can look at? Yeah, this is a this is the whole crew in one picture, which is kind of neat. Nice. Um, so, we're going to, like, go go to this and be like, oh, that this is this person, and here's the, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then we've got 
the uh, manifest, which, oh, I skipped by. The manifest was that one page, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got this. So here's a list of everyone on board, their full name, their position on the boat, and their country of origin. And then their fate, and their fate is left empty, and it's up to us to decide who it is. So we have to, using context clues, pick who it is, and then determine uh, how they died. And then in doing that, I'm hitting B right now. I thought for sure that would close the book. Uh, in doing that, we are going to skim through the entire book first. Oh, okay. In doing that, we are going to discover how everyone died on this on this uh, boat. And look like we've got little uh, chapter headings. It's been a while since I played, so I don't necessarily remember uh, if there was these chapter headings like there was before. This game did win um, best indie game the year it came out. Nice. Oh, the bargain. This chapter will remain unknown to me until you leave this ship and return the book to me. Oh, okay. I clicked on that button and it went all the way there. Luckily, we can do this. So that's good. Wanted me to skim through the whole book first. Escape. Interesting. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this does have an ending. <laughs> I wonder if that's my escape or their escape. I wonder. And then we've got... Okay. I've done it. Don't remember having to look through the whole book, but we got <laughs> through it. Memento Bortem. Remember death. We got a little we got a little death pocket watch and it's gonna do some things. Okay. All will be explained in due time. So here's how the game works. You find a dead body, and the first one is very obvious. It's this skeleton over here. You go over to it, and this comes up. And you hit the button, and this happens. So you hear a little scene. Captain! Open the door! <laughs> ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may thank me. Exactly what I give you! So now we are in a snapshot of time. Yeah. The moment that this skeleton died. So that's the skeleton right there. So these two people were breaking down the door of the captain's quarters. So this guy is definitely the captain. Yeah. Uh, can I walk by him? No, I can't. He is shirtless. There is no one over here. Uh, and you can do a little more exploring. As you can see, there's a person going up this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that... We sort of just hang out in this scene for a bit. And then when we leave the scene, we go to our book and write in what we were able to ter determine from this scene. So not really sure who these people are, whether they were a uh, crew or not. But this shirtless dude with the mustache is definitely the captain. Can I leave early? Can I go through the door already? I cannot. Oh, it's going to do this. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yes, we are at the book now. Did you do that? I did not. Interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. So this is the uh, the end of the story as it were. Who is this and how did they die? Uh, well, th we know that they were shot. Uh, Axeberg Clock Club, decapitated, um, shot with a gun by the captain. We know that much, mm -hmm. but we do not know who this person is. So we will leave it at that for now. So every person... Gets their own page, I guess. I forgot that this is how this worked in the... I played the demo so many times of this game. And yeah. then the... The... The the um the game was a little different. Oh, is this just who it is? Is that just the answer? Shotgun R. Witterell? 
Oh, no. Oh, I see. Ca- the captain is our Ritter Ralph. Ritter Ralph. That's why he's blurred out like that. Because we don't... Oh. Oh, it's a little log of what they said. Okay, cool. Um, That's why his face is blurry. Because they don't know who it is yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's probably the captain. Mm-hmm. But I will uh, wait until we find his dead body somewhere. How do I leave? Can you just keep hitting B? You can. Oh, and now we're back here. We just go through the door. So you can look around this scene as long as you want. But there is a allotted time that you like have to look around the scene. Okay. Before you can uh, continue on. And now we're back here. And now this door is open. So every time we find a new thing, something on the ship, like more of the ship yeah, gets open yeah. to us. So we have this whole captain's quarters area now. We have uh, this door that appears locked. Um, is this a room now that goes back out there? I could have gone in a circle. Okay, but we do have two more dead bodies. Got one right here, and we got one right here. Um, so let's just go to this one. This is the whole game. Yeah. It's interesting. I'm just taking it all in. Must be the year someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. Uh, I I just I was so with the art style and the gameplay. Oh. Okay, so that that looks like the captain still. Yeah. So the captain sliced this guy's throat with a knife, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or it almost looks like a. No, that's definitely a knife. Um. So this body that was over here must be the captain. Right. Oh, oh. this that's must be the same guy who was going up the stairs before. Right. Um this part of the game I've played many, many times because this was the demo. Um, but everything after these first couple murders uh I've only ever seen once when the when this game came out, I think in twenty 17? 2018? I'm not sure. <sighs> okay, so once again, we don't know who it is, but we do know that they were. Knife. Knifed? Do we feel good about knifed? I think so. By the captain. And once we get it right. By the way, it, the game will be like, congrats, you did it. Cool. You know cool. what I mean? I was wondering about there, that. There's a very conclusive like, hey, you did that one right. Nice. Um, I think we get it, though. I think we can... Uh, What is he holding, though? Just a it stick? Looks like a, yeah, just a stick. Like a broom handle or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's the gun. He must have knocked the gun out of his hand. Well, yeah, those are usually just... Well, one and done, especially oh, yeah. close quarters like that. Yeah, that was a uh, yeah back then, a, especially on a boat, a gun like that was like <laughs> your 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 opening gesture gesture. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> from there you kind of have to wing it without <laughs> your gun. Test. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, he's still going. He's still going. <laughs> this guy won't die, bro. So hold on. That thing we thought was a stick. Oh, still is a stick. I thought it was slicing through that guy, but it looks like he's just bashing him in the head. So it looks like dude. Oh, look down. Can you look down to see if that guy's... Nope. No, I think that guy is this guy. I think he snuck in. Oh. So this dead... So where's the captain's dead body, I thought for sure this would be him. That door's open. Oh my god, this door's open. You were right. Oh, and there's a... Woman? Looks like a sick woman in here, maybe? Her, her face looks flush, but it is just like two or three colors. Uh, so it's hard to tell. Seems like she might be sick. Or something, you know? Yeah. Let me just go up here to say I did. No, nothing new up here. My time is probably almost up. Interesting. Yeah. I was... 
this was one of those games where I played the demo and I was like, fuck, the <laughs> game's never going to come out. And then it like never did, right? I just like wanted it to happen. So clubbed? Clubbed, yeah. I just want to look at all our... Uh, struck? Views. Struck? Oh, uh, no. what? No, never mind. Hooves? What? Are we gonna, are we gonna fight demons? No, Psst. I think clubbed is good. Anthony. Yeah. I know. I just went. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. You so gotta bad. go to the bathroom. I gotta go so bad. We're good. Okay. I mean, uh, that's that's fine. We'll 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 take a break right here. Two seconds. Here. Yeah. No, you're good. Welcome back, Chris. And boy, howdy, I accidentally did something without you. Oh, um, boy. So I found... Did you keep it going? Did you talk to the people? No, but I did capture what happened, so I'll at least have the footage to play in the episode. But essentially, I clicked on this dude's face, and it gave me a tutorial on how the whole game works. Oh. Um, so essentially, it was saying, like, this person's face isn't blurred because using context clues, we can. Yeah. We know that this is the captain. Yep. So, And then it basically said that... We can revisit events if we need to watch them again. And there were 60 people on board the Oberdin, and we need to identify who they were and how they died. Uh, and then we win, basically. And then it basically said, like, use context clues. Divisive information is rare. Good luck. Okay. 